Big welcome everybody and today's top tips. So I'm always talking about sterilising the buckets and vases and the amount of messages and the questions I see in the comments asking me how do I do it. It's actually very simple. So what I have here is a bucket or a vase and this is a vase that we have previously used and that we have emptied the water out of it. So what we do is we use Domestus bleach. Don't get paid from Domestus, but definitely recommend this brand, okay? And what you're going to do is put a good measure. And you can see I'm not even going to use the cap as a kind of a guideline. Good squeeze and say, listen, one for good luck. You can't overdo it, okay? So put a good squeeze of the Domestus bleach. Now I'm not saying another brand won't work, but this has been proven that it doesn't harm the flowers. Now normally what I would do is I would place that vase under the tap. Obviously where I'm doing this video, I'm not beside the sink. So I have a bucket already filled with clean water. So the idea is that I fill this up under the tap and that way because the bleach is already in the vase, it's then going to get like, you know, well dispersed in among the water. So bear with me. We're going to pretend it's under the sink, under the tap, and we're going to fill it up with water. Now, you can see it. But already that has started to bubble. I'll try and kind of like just bring it down and maybe, maybe you might see it there, right? So you can see like lots of bubbles and lots of suds. Absolutely no harm at all. Now the plan would be is to leave that for a minimum of five minutes, but 10, 15 minutes is much, much better. And the longer you can leave it, the better. So what a lot of flower shops may do is they may fill up their bucket or vase or five of them at the same time and go home, like leave them overnight and come back in the next morning. And that way then you know that the bleach has literally lifted any bacteria, any germs and scrupulously has basically sterilized the inside of the bucket. So we're gonna to have to fast forward five, 10 minutes. So there we go, there's a little bit of magic, okay? Fast forward. And then what you do is you empty this bucket of bleached water into your next empty vase, okay? So again, I'm just now going to pour that water into our bucket. I'm just kind of push them over and that you will see all the subtle, all the suds and all the bubbles. So there we go. Now, when you do that, the inside of your bucket and vase will have a small amount of bubbles and suds kind of left inside it. Like there's a lining of bleach left inside that vase. Don't rinse it, don't dry it, do absolutely nothing to it. What I may do is on the floor, right, I'm going to put on the counter here, is I would just stand them upside down. Now everybody thinks that's to drip dry them, it actually isn't. That's my little sign to the rest of the staff that bucket has been sterilised. So then when I'm ready to use it, which could be straight away, I will then half fill that vase up with clean water, up to about there. And because there's already a lining of bleach in the bucket, like our suds, they will get re-diluted again. And believe it or not, the flowers absolutely love that. So flowers love a taint of bleach off the water that they're going to drink. But by doing it the way I have just described, it's literally, it's a foolproof way. You're not going to harm the flowers and there's no like chance that you'll put too much bleach into the water by doing it the way that I have just described. Like this bucket and bucket here, now that's filled with the bleach water. If I leave that again, you know, the 10 or 15 minutes, and again, you do your magic fast forward, I can then empty that water into my next dirty bucket. And again, this one will then be sterilized. And then leave that water in the next dirty bucket for 10, 15 minutes, fast forward. And you normally will find out of the one bucket of bleached water, you'll at least, a minimum, you'll get five buckets or five vases sterilized. Because again, a lot of people think that if they have 10 buckets, I know our own students, we normally recommend them to have 10 buckets when they get their flower delivery. And a lot of them, when I see the photographs and videos of them sterilizing their buckets, they would have all 10 of them filled with bleach and water. Now just to kind of save on water, obviously with water rates, but also to save on the bleach, it is easier, faster and cheaper to just have five of them going and then when them five have been sterilized, empty that water from them five buckets into the next five buckets. And then finally, the last lot of water will do for washing down backyard, drains, shores or whatever you want to do to sterilize. Hopefully 
you have that has answered a lot of your questions obviously if you have any questions at all post them in the comments below i respond back to everybody and again if you're interested in training here at case flare school why don't you drop me an email info at flareschoolireland.com and the last thing what's the chances of you sharing this video for us so go on click like click share and let's get the word out there bye bye